Um, well, as we expected, I guess South Hobart pretty strongly represented, but uh, no real surprise there when they're the best team in the comp. It's reflective of the league. You know, if you look at the numbers, I think it's pretty reflective of, you know, and, and, and it hasn't just been picked because of that. I think it just, uh, that's where the players are. And, you know, the, the squad has been pre picked pretty much just on form and, and what I've seen across across the year so far. So it just turns out that it's pretty indicative of what the league table, absolutely. Three clubs without a representative. Is yeah. that no, not one person good enough from those three clubs? Oh, look, I, I think, it, and this is from, from my perspective, if I'm actually going to pick the best 30 players in the comp, um, this, this isn't about social work of football. It's not about just going in and making sure we pick someone from, from the other three teams just to make them feel good and fluffy. It's not about that. I want the 30 best players and I think we've got the 30 best players. So that's why we picked the players we picked. Was it uh, hard to come to whittle it down to 30 or did you feel you had uh, enough talent there? Yeah, look, we, I, I believe we've got a, a good depth there. Um, we'll go with 30 initially and try and cut it down to 18. But... Uh, no, it wasn't the case of going out and trying to find extra players. I think you know, there might have been a few extras that might have come into it as well, but we wanted to keep it at 30. Given uh, South have 11 players in the 30-man squad, how many of those do you think could feature in the 18-man squad, considering how far ahead they are on the moment now? Look, at, we'll look at the first three sessions that we've got the players, and we'll pick the best 18 from that. Now, if all 11 of those South Hobart players are in it, so be it. Yeah. But it will be the best 18 players. How do they get selected from here? Is it the remaining victory league games, or is it more on the training track? Or it'll, be, you know, uh, it'll be what Glenn and Tim and myself will see on the Sundays that, that, that will then cut the squad to 18. So it's not going to be picked on, the 18 won't be picked on what we see for the remainder of the victory league. It will be based on what we see of a group of players that gel to make a decent squad that goes to play Melbourne Victory. Jaden Hay won the medal last year, not in the best uh, 30 in the competition. He's, he's moved to South Hobart, heard that? Uh, he can be picked? Personally, I think it has, in terms of the game time that he's had. I think, you know, I think that's affected him. Um, I believe looking at the defenders that I've got, that I've picked the best defenders available based on what I've seen this year. Any um, ones that were close that missed out, or if you don't want to name them? No, I'd rather not name them. You know, the other side is is that you know you, this is the initial thirty. It could always be subject to injury if someone gets injured and, and is unavailable. We might look to bring others in. Um, but as it is, I'm I'm really happy with what we've got to go with here to get it down to 18 that's going to be competitive against Melbourne Victory. Uh, now, we have had some uh, meetings with, uh, with Spencer and, and Tim um, uh, via Skype and in person over the last couple of weeks. Um, we've had a fair bit of input into this final 30 and, and, and Spencer's taken on board um, some suggestions and he's also ch chose to go with his own feelings on certain players as well, which is what we want, you know, we, we're bouncing ideas off each other, we're working as a team. And uh, yeah, so we're happy with, with the final outcome. Just, this isn't a criticism at all, but does it give players an advantage from your team or from Tim's team that you get more of a look at them, I guess, than other players and, and that they might be selected over other players, do you think? I don't believe so. And I think the final squad reflects um, pretty much where uh, all the teams are on the ladder. Uh, so obviously we want our players to do well, but we have to be realistic and honest and We've got two other people to bounce that off with, and, and it, you know, we might put someone up, but at the end of the day, uh, we want a competitive side that's going to uh, do a good job for, for this state uh, come September. Yeah.